the Guild of Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me, but not many of them around anymore. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it, not with any normal metal. If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about a the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Who's there? I knew I heard something. It's going to be a killing So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course I'm glad you did. Now... I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of his sap. Do you have the Elder Gleam? Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. I thank you for your kindness. Is it much further to the sanctuary?
Hello there, friend. You come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary that I have. Truly remarkable, isn't it? Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. Praise Kinareth for allowing such beauty in the world. You are an Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinareth has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. As you can see, Elder Gleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Elder Gleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. <coughs> Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. Pain is already easy. I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. The courier must have found you. Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Potema escaped. We've encountered some of her minions. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding, but I need you to go talk to him, to see if Steer can tell us what to do next. He's Solitude's priest of Arche. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. This city has a long history of madness and murder. The Wolf Queen, Pelagius, the death of High King Toric, and now, public executions. My books tell the stories, have no doubt. As pretty as its streets are, as jovial as the bards may be, darkness is drawn to solitude. Ah, Potema, former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, 
The Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Good. Being at the summoning created a connection to Potema. You are the one to do this. I can provide you with some help with her minions. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by R.K. A curious figure. Unrepentantly evil and nasty, of course, but also astonishingly brilliant, and obviously quite a necromancer at her end. She was always so close to being Empress, but despite her machinations, it was never to be hers. Ironically, if she were alive today, she'd be the only living member of the Septim bloodline. By all rights, she would now be Empress. May Arke bless you with a long life. Plenty of fresh corpses to rebuild her army. Not much further. Come to me. Serve me in death. Can you stand against my inner council? Yeah. Let's see.
enemies there. Done and done. Welcome, people of solitude! We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. Just like you did the last one. The last one was a warm-up. With the lighting of the effigy, We remember all those solitude soldiers out fighting the good fight in this thankless war. I think they like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Do you have business with the court? You've done a great thing today. It doesn't matter who you support in the war, but Tama would have been a blight on the land for both sides. Without you, this would have been a disaster. I should have paid more heed to Varnius's warnings. I won't make that mistake again. Take this payment. The Jarl would thank you. But she very much wants to keep Potema's return quiet. Make no mistake, we consider you a protector of solitude. Bring successfully. Excellent. These things do have a way of working out when people take action. I'll sanctify the remains. I hope Falk made it clear that solitude owes you a debt of gratitude. 